do we understand that when we want to train, we use the mule's nose? It's really super important, and they get that from the donkey. Donkey is super sensitive when it comes down to the nose. So the things that we really want to do, the picking up the feet is really important. The leading them around is really important. The going to the right and to the left and back up is all important, okay? Notice I did not reach down to get that. I can tell you of stories of people that reach down to get stuff and the mule all of a sudden gets scared and stomp them in the back. You know? At least I'm down around them feet, the better. You see what I just did? Yeah. Do you see what people usually do? What happens to the mule? They get worried. See my hand on the nose? Hand on the nose. Oop, we a little ear shy problem too? Not normally. Hand on the nose, get some relaxation. Relaxation, this is saying, oh, Fluffy, it'll be okay. It'll be okay, Fluffy. Rubbing on the nose, getting them relaxed. I can feel the stiffness in her right now. So just kind of relaxing, rubbing on her. Right ear, left ear. Right to left. Right to left, over top. Pull the first one, feed the second one with my hand. Hand on the nose, rubbing, petting, scratching. Rubbing, petting, scratching. Yeah, quieter, rubbing slowly. Nice and quiet. My hand is here. If the mule would nudge me, or if the mule would push around me, then I would slow, lower my hand down and go to here. All right? Is she still tense? She's very tense. Since all the way through. See how she's bracing into the ground right there? We'll adjust this up a little later. There we go. Okay. I see if I would have kept on saying, with all that big heavy movement, I'd have had me an ear shy meal. There's several ways you make an ear shy meal. One of them was all that heavy, quick movement. And the other one is putting a, a bit too uh, tight in the mule's mouth, which I'll talk about later, okay? So I'm gonna put my hand on the nose right here. And I got my other hand right here on the lead rope. So I'm gonna rub around my hand here. Of course, when the doctor works on you, you're not sick, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stand right here. She's supposed to push on me. I'll push on you. You knocked my hat off. First rule, never touch a cowboy's hat. <laughs> so when I push against this mule in his nose, if he pushes against me, I'm gonna bump his nose. You see how the bump in her nose made a difference? <laughs> okay, you're going to put this in your right hand, and you're going to bump if it needs to be done. Pretty serious. Take your other hand and move around the nose and get around the heel. There you go, good timing, wow! All right, do it again. He 
piece of that lady meant business. <laughs> that was good timing. Did you see that? Wow. Good. You see how it's different between me and, and her now? I need to get her over here. Because it's, it's her he's bluffing. And once I bumped on his nose a couple times, he saw that, dang, he better not be bluffing me. When you go to rub on the mule's nose, the mule would throw his nose and tr do this and try to knock your hand off. Okay, and then would start pushing you around after that, probably. It's usually what they do. But that was the problem. As soon as you went to messing with the nose, he'd throw his head saying, get your hand off my nose. And I say, no, no, I paid for that nose. If I want to stick my finger in it or whatever I want to do, this is my nose, you know. You're the extension. But good timing. That was awesome. Good for you. Okay, now go up in front of the mule and kind of push on it a little bit. You don't want to push against you, does he? Good. Give a sharp rep reprimand right there. There you go. Now go ahead and push against her again. Good. Put your nose up against her. Here, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. There you are. This happens so much. All right. And I'll never forget, years ago, I had a big old buckskin horse. And I just loved it when I get behind me and he pushed me. You know how you've seen it? I had an old cowboy tell me one time, he says, you better quit doing that. You're going to pay the price. I said, really? I said, it's a fun thing. Look how fun. Look how cute my horse is. Right? I'm looking for a lost kid. I got a mine shaft right here. What did my horse do that day? Oh, no. Down into the mine shaft. You know? And I'm, you, you can see the movies now. I'm grabbing for everything. I happened to grab a root just right and held on to it. I had another 60 feet to drop. I hear my partner say, Steve, 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 you all right? I said, throw me a rope, you know. So he threw me a rope, and I got it around myself, and I'm kind of moving around. I finally got it hooked up. He dialed it up to his horse and pulled me out. First thing I did was hit that horse, but it was my fault. It wasn't his, you know. So you know, look, folks, they're not allowed to get in your space. They're not allowed to do it. And if they do, several things you can do. You can pinch their nose, you can bump on their halter, which is my favorite thing, or hit the shins, you know. When they're in your space, like this, thank you. When they're in your space like this, you know, and you don't have a lead rope, just tap them like this. You see? They'll learn to get out of your space. You're in a horse trailer, okay, and they're moving you around, and they're smashing you with their hind quarter, right? No, she's just not getting over so I can close the divider. Okay. Just do this. I'm, okay. You see that mule get over? I guess I'm just not doing it hard enough. I tried that. There you are. I'll try it harder. Do it harder. Okay. That's right. Ask, tell, demand, y'all. Notice I increased the intensity with this mule. I tapped on it on the side. I tapped it on the side. I asked, and then I told with a little bit more intensity. And then more intensity demanded, and the mule responded. So then I can get over here, and I can tap on this mule. And this mule wants to get out of my space, wants to get over sideways. You see that? Would it be to my advantage to, to practice doing that outside? Absolutely. OK. OK, look, folks, don't get to the job unless you got the tools to do the job. All right? So everything, do it at home. Look, it's not important to go riding. Anybody can go riding. I get on my bicycle and go for riding in my car, okay? I can climb on my mule too. But if he doesn't have my buttons right, if he doesn't have everything I want him on him, I ain't climbing on that mule.